showing y'all my, my row of pots. I done took a lot of them up and I'm using them. Uh, but they all cleaned out except for right here. I had these nasturtiums that I had found growing in the ground. And I just took them and stuck them in a pot. And they're still going because they kind of like cool weather. Until they get frozen, uh, they're good food. This is food too. You can eat these. And they, I like them. Okay, and I want to show y'all this. I bought this at... Um, gardener supply company and online and it's called uh, a quilt it's some type of quilt see this fabric and it's, it's kind of thick but I just wanted to show it to you I'm gonna be covering my plants up with that okay and this is how much I got in here see if I can get that all in there to show you what's in here it's in a plastic bag all right all right so then it's cold out here so i'm gonna be moving now right here i have uh, put leaves and different uh things that i took out of the garden put water in there and let it make compost tea and i'm gonna be watering my stuff with that now these pots here as you can see they all been emptied out over here, I have stuff still growing. I've covered it over with tulle. T-U-L-L-E. I think that's how you spell it. Because the squirrel been coming over here digging. And I'm going to put that uh, fabric I showed you on top of it. But I have here Swiss chard, kohlrabi, and I'm trying to see if I can get it where you can see some of the, some of the little, I can't tell if you can see it or not, but some of the roots coming up. That right there is parsnip. And these, these kohlrabi have bulbs on them, but I don't want to lift the tool up to show you. Uh, this here, I think is... Mm, I can't tell. I can't tell what that is, y'all. Maybe when I get to the other side. I planted something in here, but I don't know if that's it. I'll get to the other side and tell you what that is in there. This here was cauliflower, but something been eating on it. It's a mustard greens. Uh, this is lettuce. Uh, I'll tell you on the other side what that is. This is cucumber. I know that I'm not going to get any cucumber, but that's what that is. Uh, look at that kohlrabi. And these here are radishes. This one here is nothing in it. I just got it there to uh, hold a tool in place. This here is uh, beets. I had this whole thing planted with beets, but the squirrel came in here and dug. And see how it's so... I don't even have anything on that side. This is kohlrabi. I'm trying to let them get bigger. Some of them are smaller, but some of them are bigger. See that one? See these over here? I can't tell what you can see. Okay. See that in there? They said the leaves are edible, too. I have eaten the leaves. And it was good, too. I sauteed them. So I'm just leaving them out here. Now in here I said the cucumber and winter squash. No, you know I ain't going to get nothing in that. I may stick some other kind of seed in there just to see what happens. That's kale, dwarf Siberian. This here was zucchini and zinnia, which you know I ain't going to get nothing out of that. And I told you that was the parsnip. Now let's get over here. Just ignore that dog. Um, I planted some carrots right there, but that squirrel dug in there. This here is oregano, Greek oregano, and uh, I've been harvesting that. I got that all in the freezer and everything. It's really good. Now, see these nasturtiums? They just came up down here in these cinder blocks. And, um, I just let them stay there. These came, these here I found on the ground. I stuck them in this pot. 
And now these are beets. But the squirrel dug in here, because this was covered. He dug in there. This down here is plant. I decided to leave this out here, because it had some okra. And I wanted to see would it get full. I've been harvesting off of this. And I wanted to see what it, uh, would these okras in here go ahead and do something. But that's it. I cleaned out all the other pots. They all cleaned out. And I didn't plant all them pots. I didn't plant these here. They just empty and ready. I want to put leaves in them for next year. And this little pot over here got a blueberry bush in it. And that's the blueberry. And those blueberries were delicious. So this is what it all looks like right now. So thank you so much for watching. Okay. I'm going to give you a little view of all my wonderful fall color that I have out here. And trust me, I have got some beautiful fall color in this yard. This is what I see out of my kitchen window. All this wonderful, wonderful fall color. Isn't that beautiful? Okay. I big hole in this one. Oh, I forgot to mention these are in grow bags. I don't know if you can see that or not. They're in grow bags. It's about 40 something degrees out here, so it's pretty cold and very little sun at all. So it's no time to be cute out here. I'm trying to be warm. I 
think I got kind of a hole in it. Let me see, can I move my chair up closer? Some of the real little bitty ones I'm not gonna take inside. Now I'm just gonna take this quarry hurry and uh, cut this root out of here. I have some parsley in here and I have a zinnia in here that I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave both of them. Just knock some of this dirt off of here. I don't know if you can see this parsley over here, but I'm going to leave this and I'm going to try to repot this up and bring it inside. And I got a zinnia over here, which I'm going to leave out here. I may bring that inside also, I'm not sure. I'm going to be growing some things inside. Okay, I'm going to move over to the next spot, so I'm going to have to reposition you. I've been harvesting from these all, all fall. This was a late fall planting. Uh, actually, these here were growing volunteer plants in my, in my walkway. Over there in the cattle panel, they was growing over there. And I took them up and put them over here. I didn't even know if I would get anything or if I would even want whatever I got. But they're pretty good tomatoes. They have a lot of little seeds in them. But what I've been doing is just squeezing, make a little cut, an X on the bottom, and then squeeze the seeds out. And I took it and put it in the oven and like roasted them. Oh my goodness, they were delicious. These on here. And I got one, two, three, four more bags to go. Four more of these grow bags. Some of them don't have as many tomatoes. Some of them got uh, sunflowers in it. I don't know if you can see behind me the cattle panel garden. I'm going to be putting that in a video. Uh, I may include it in with this. I'm not sure yet. Depends on how much footage I get on here. I don't want a real long video. put some tool on my little pots over there if you can see them in the background that's what you're looking at I've been I planted some fall cool weather crops a while ago and I have a squirrel that keeps going in there digging my stuff up so I'm hoping 
to stop that. And I really like these grow pots because I can move them around easy and stuff seems to grow. I can grow bigger stuff in here because I grew these mammoth sunflowers in here in these grow pots and they did very well. I had two in here because I see the stubs. I cut them off. They wasn't the mammoth kind. See that root system on there? Let's get some of this dirt off of it. So I can put it in the garbage. on a busy road so it wasn't this busy before but they made a dead end a part of the road up there and diverted the traffic so they changed the road and then they shut down a bridge in town and made this the detour so now, I have all that. Look at this weed on here. This was the sunflower. Look at that. I'm trying to get the, uh, the stem out. Pick my dirt off of this root. It was quiet when I first came out here, but it never stayed quiet for very long, so. Look at this. I think these are 15, let me put that over there, uh, 15 gallon bags. And I got them on Amazon. They got little handles on the side, and when I'm cutting the grass, a lot of times I move them, cut around them, and put them back, which is probably what I'm going to do after I get through with this. And I'm in uh, upstate New York, so for me to be still gardening at this time in October, and uh, this is pretty good, uh, to be harvesting, and also, uh, well, I'll show you the stuff that I have over there. Uh, that I've planted. I'm trying to keep the squirrel from digging my plants up. The squirrel keeps going in there. And uh, I had planted a whole pot full, but now I don't have a, I got patchy spots because the squirrel has been digging. Not burying anything. I think looking to see what I'm doing. You know, a lot of people don't know that, but animals watch you. They watching you just like you watching them. 
That's why a lot of times when you put your plants on and you, you're waiting on something to har uh, uh, harvest something and waiting on it to ripen, and just before you go get it, if they get it, because they're watching you. Not only are they waiting for that to harvest it, they're trying to watch and get it before you do. The more of this that I get done now, the less I will have to do in the spring. Because the spring, I really have a lot to do. I'm putting the wood chips, I'm trying to put the wood chips in a pile so they don't, the wood chip mulch, so that it doesn't get mixed in here. Now look at that. A big old grub. We don't want him in there wintering over. Let me see if I got any more in here. Definitely don't want that. That's a Japanese beetle. Uh, little babies. And they will eat your stuff down. And they will, not only will they eat it when they grow up and, and turn into a Japanese beetle, they'll eat your stuff that you got in here. As food for them. So, what I'm hoping to do, because I got a lot of stuff to do, so I ain't going to promise anything, because I got a lot of stuff in the kitchen that I'm processing. Um, but what I would like to do is go around the yard and collect leaves and dig me a hole in here and bury them leaves in here and let them decompose over the winter. But if you can do that, go ahead and do it. That's a good thing to do. Okay, so now we're going to move over. I'm going to put this back where it was. And I'm going to try to reposition y'all. Let's get this one up. It's got a hole in it. Now. Let me try that. I don't want my phone to get touched with these gloves. So I'm going to... Let's see how this does. I don't have the best equipment. I'm making it with what I have. The ones that I'm keeping for fall harvesting. Some stuff I was hoping to have a harvest in the winter, so we'll see how that goes. Alright, so. I don't know if you can see this or not. Let me, uh, the sunflower was down. I decided not to. I don't think I'll need that. So, let's see here. Put some on there. This one is heavy. Not that much on it, but it was heavy. Well, it's pretty good. It's a cluster. Oh, I know why it was heavy. It was hooked on to this one. They were connected. That. Can you see that? I 
I'm getting some kind of message on the phone. Okay, I'm back. Uh, my phone had got cold, and I think that's what the message was. Because I couldn't even see the screen until it, I took it into the garage and it warmed up. So, I'm going to go on here. Keep going. I didn't stake these, um, in case you're wondering. I didn't stake these tomatoes because they're in bags. I could have staked them, but I didn't want to. I just decided to let them sprawl. They seem like a tomato that wanted to sprawl a lot. So I let it. I don't put the the tomatoes in the in the compost. I'll show you my compost. I don't have much compost going right now. Uh, I make a little compost tea and I use a little compost. I'm learning these things and I'm doing it. But this year I did use compost. I just don't want tomato seeds. I don't want anything with seeds. Can y'all see all that? I don't want anything with seeds in my compost, if I can help it. This here was loaded. I don't know how long I'll be able to, to do this one because of um, the phone getting cold. Because it's so cold out here. There's no sun. You see all them tomatoes? Y'all, I got a lot, a lot of tomatoes. I may have to try to see if I can find a dehydrator. I have bought a... When I take you inside, I'll show you the uh, tomato strain I bought. That's new. It just came. I was waiting on that to get here. Well, you, All I'll have to do is take these little ones and put them in there and turn it and it cranks out on one side. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. It cranks out on one side the um, pulp and the seeds and then on the other, I mean the seeds and the skin and then on the other side you'll have your pulp. But I would love to dry these. I know you can dry in the oven, and I may do that with some of them. Because I tell you, when I cook, put those in that oven, I seasoned them up, sprinkled olive oil on it, and put the spices on it. I wanted to put them in that oven. Ooh, that thing was good. That was good. So from now on, that will be something that I'm going to be doing. I see something has really been in here eating. I didn't really let these turn too red before I was getting them because I noticed that the ones that... Let me try to get this and don't cut myself and cut through my grow bag. Um, but I noticed, see like this here? You, you won't see that, but... See how that's all eaten up there? As soon as they get red, they get attacked. But when they're green, for the most part, I haven't seen them really being attacked. So, and I found out inside, they ripen up real good and fast. was a couple of things I was trying to remember to tell y'all when I went inside for a little while. And now I forgot. Well, I know one of them was about the, the uh, compost and the other one was about... Um, look at that. Look. I'm forgetting to show you all these tomatoes on here. Um, I got a lot of tomatoes. A lot of them. I've already saved some seeds from, from this uh, 
these plants because they're volunteers and I definitely want to grow them again. Especially after I found out how good they are uh, in the oven. Baking them up. It was delicious. Look at that. Something that tore that whole thing up there. See? As soon as they turn, they get attacked. I saw somebody on YouTube. She made um, ketchup. She took ketchup. I mean, she made ketchup with uh, her green tomatoes. She didn't have little cherry tomatoes, but um, she said she liked it. I, I don't eat much ketchup, so that's not something that I would be doing. Tomato sauce, yeah, chili, soups and stews. You know, tomatoes, uh, like I said, uh, if I could dehydrate them, I would love that. I'm going to see if I can get one. I'm probably going to have a lot of little baby tomato plants growing over here next summer. Because whatever that was that was in here eating, see, it left all these little tomatoes. And they're going to they gonna sprout up. Over in here, they thick with tomatoes. I mean, thick with it. A lot of them. Nice sized ones. You know, don't forget, this is like a cherry tomato. So these these are not uh, full tomato. These are cherry tomatoes. I do know that. I know I'm in here with all in between these sunflowers, <laughs> trying to hurry up because it's cooling off more. I mean, I just can't believe how many tomatoes I have here. Wow. <laughs> Y'all ever have accidents in the garden? I do. Nothing real bad, but I do. Most of the time I'm careful, but sometimes like I'm rushing right now, you got to be careful because that's when you can get yourself hurt. If you're trying to rush and you may get careless. Now let's see here. Pull this one around. Get those. Yeah, they must have been really good in here because something's really been eaten. I didn't see that on the other one, over on uh, the other pots. These are bigger too, so. Uh, I know inside, I found out the more I let them ripen up, they would turn, but I would let them get real, real ripe since they turn so fast. And they would be, the better they would be. Maybe that's common sense. <laughs> look at that. Look at all that. Look, 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 y'all. I'm excited about all these tomatoes. This here is very, uh, uh, as a blessing. I put it like that, a blessing. I, I, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to lift that bag up. Now I'm going to cut this root out. I want to get over here if I have time. And put some leaves down in this dirt. There was a big old root on that. Look at, look. Look 
at that root on there. These are in grow bags, y'all. So if you don't want to go out and invest in pots, get yourself some grow bags. And when I bought these grow bags, it said bring them in in the winter. However, I didn't do that. I left them out. And I'm still using these same bags that I left out, so. Because I felt like that was too much work for me. I didn't. I got a big one over here. At least it looks like it's big. Um, it's got quite a few tomatoes on it. Nice size ones. I'm dropping them all over the place. Nice size ones. Some of them little ones I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave that zinnia in there. Cause I may bring that one inside. You see, it's in pretty good shape. Cause the tomatoes were shading it, and it'll, it'll be a nice plant. I don't know what it'll do inside, but I bring it in, put it in a pot, and see what happens. It'd be fun to play around with. <laughs> And this is October. What is it? October 20 something? I am seeing some grubs over here though. So this is a, a grub. Ugh. But it was on the ground. One of my little zinnias fell over. It's got a little, little, um, it's a bloom that hasn't opened yet. I might take that and, uh, Take it up, leave it out here. I might. I'm just kind of thinking out loud. The best one I would take inside. The other one I would leave out here and try to see how long. Look at that. I don't know if you can see all them tomatoes in there, but a lot of them. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm going to end right here, and at the end, I'm going to show you the full harvest, okay? Bye-bye.